Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to export a Qtable widget's records to an Excel file. All right, so let me close uh, this Excel file first. I'll be using PyQt6 for this tutorial. All right, so here let me uh, activate my environment first. And let me insert my code snippet for uh, PyQt6. All right, so from the import statement, I'll be uh, import the uh, uh, this following uh, classes. I also include a uh, Q table widget, Q table widget item, and a push button. So there are several ways that you can uh, export Q table widgets uh, records to an Excel file or a CSV file, depending on the uh, libraries that I use when it comes to uh, interact with the Excel application. And I'll be using Pandas library for uh, this example. And for the uh, next video, I'll probably uh, make a similar video, except that I'll be using Win32 com library to export the Q table widgets records to an Excel file. Let's first talk about why you should use Pandas library to export the uh, records as an Excel file. So the first reason, I think the most important reason is the flexibility and the uh, ease of exporting the record set, as well as if you need to perform any additional data analysis, then it's really easy to do with Pandas library. But the downside is that you have very little control when it comes to uh, processing the Excel file afterward. If you need to create additional charts, pivot table, in that case, Win32 com or Excel writers, those are better libraries for those type of things. Now let's take a look. All right, so here's my uh, code snippet. So this is my application class, and here's my uh, main routine. All right, so let's first of all uh, create the table widget. I'll name the uh, table widget as QTable widget instance. Then I'll add the uh, table widget to the layout object. Next, I'm going to create my push button to export the Excel file. And I'll name the object as self.button. It's equals to Q push button. And it's going to be export to Excel. You can also uh, modify the uh, script to export to any uh, data file that you prefer, such as CSV file, SQL file, JSON file, or text file. So here I haven't created a method to uh, link to the click signal yet. So here I'll come back to this later. And I'll add the push button to the uh, layer object. Right, so let's create the uh, method to export the Excel file. So I'll name the method export to Excel. Inside the export to Excel function, I'll create an empty dictionary. I'll name the dictionary column headers. Now I want to uh, create some uh, dummy records. So here, let me do this. Uh, I'll create another method called load data. So this function is going to uh, generate some dummy data set that load to the Q table widget. So first, let's create the uh, table headers. I'll name the headers self that header labels. I'll create a column from A to G. And here I want to create an variable to indicate uh, how many records I want to uh, answer to my Q table widget. And let's do uh, 3,000 records. So from the table widget object, I want to set the row count, giving the n value, and the uh, column counts. Set column counts based on the number of elements from header labels. Then I want to insert the uh, count headers using the set horizontal header labels method. Then I'll insert the uh, self that header labels object. And to insert the dummy records, I'll insert a two dimension loop. So for row in range, Giving the n value. Then I can iterate each column. So for column in range, from 0 to the number of uh, headers. Then 
Then I'm going to create a queue table widget item Archer. For the text, uh, let's just insert the uh, sales location or sales address. That format. For the uh, first argument, I'm going to insert the column name. And because when it comes to a uh, cell position, we need to start from one. Here I'm going to increase the row value by one. Then we can insert the uh, queue table widget item object to the uh, table widget. I'll insert my row index first, column index, followed by the item itself. And this will be an item. Then I want to resize my column width to fit the uh, content. Should this be uh, uppercase C? I also want to resize the uh, rows to content. All right, so this is going to be the method to load the dummy data to the uh, queue table widget. I'll call the uh, load data method inside the uh, constructor. Let me take a look. All right, so we have a syntax here. And it should be table. All right, so here's my uh, Q table widget with some dummy records inserted. So we have about 3,000 rows followed by seven columns. Let's say I want to export this data set to an Excel file. Now going back to the export to Excel method. So here what we need to do is we need to iterate uh, each cell or each value inside the Q table widget. So here we can see that for j in range, inside the range function, I'm going to insert the uh, table widget, that model. This model method will return the uh, data model of the uh, table widget. I can grab the column count. Now let's add the uh, column label to the column headers object first. So here I'll use the append method. Now I want to reference the uh, column label using self.table that horizontal header item method. Inside that we insert the uh, j variable dot text. Now here let's create an empty data frame object. And I'll provide the column headers to the uh, columns parameter. Now let's iterate each cell. So for row in range and given the table row count. Then we can iterate each column given the uh, column count. And let me set notes here. Create column header list and it's going to be a uh, create data frame object record set and to insert uh, each value to the data frame object i'm actually going to use the adds function and this function takes the row label and the column label. And it's going to be the uh, value that I want to insert based on the row label and the column label position. So from the table widget, the item, I'm going to provide the row index, column index, that text. 
And once we uh, insert all the values to the data frame object, now I can use the to Excel method. And here I can insert the uh, Excel file path. And let's call this Excel file uh, dummy file xyz.xl sx. I want to ignore the index. The last thing we need to do is we need to take this uh, export to Excel method and link that to the uh, click signal. And that's it. All right, now let's take a look. So I'm going to uh, launch the window. I'm going to launch the window first. And after I click on uh, this export to Excel button, I should expect uh, 3,000 rows of records from column A to column G. Oh, and here I have a typo. Let me try again. And again, column header is not defined. Oh, this should be Perl. Actually, let me do this. I want to put a message. Excel file exporter. All right, so here's the uh, dummy file, Excel file. All right, so if I uh, look at the last row, I should expect 3,000 from column A to column G. All right, so this is everything I want to share in this uh, PyQt6 tutorial. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And if you have any question or any comment, please leave them in the comment section below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.